called my mama three, four hours ago, and she just now want to text me back. You know what some of y'all problem is? Y'all be posting on social media what you're supposed to be sending to your man. Yes, ma'am. What are we going to do with your moose knuckle, ma'am? Mm. <laughs> you know? Unless you're going to let half of these players on social media hit it, put the cat back, okay? <laughs> you right. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is that they're dangerous. Mm. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk about toxic masculinity and how bad it is for men to be traditionally masculine. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charges into the burning building because it is his duty. Not because he feels like it, because it is his duty. We're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel and they don't have to act as a man should. Do you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel? You get schools, you get violence, you get rain. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. If you find a man who is stoic, he's not going to hurt people. He's going to sit and think about his actions very carefully, and he's going to be a good man who protects for, and provides for his family. Yes, you sir. find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like, you're going to find a dangerous man. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. That is why we have the problems we have in the world. Absolutely notly wrong. So when they talk about toxic masculinity, they have it completely inversed on its head. Completely notly wrong. We need to be teaching stoicism. We need to be teaching young men to understand that the world is very, very difficult. It's hard to be a man. You're going to feel yes, bad sometimes. You yes, just sir. suck it up and perform anyway. Yep. Not to sit there, you cry your eyes out or blame other people. Tough or being cop a woman out. too in modern society. It's certainly tough being a woman, but I'm not a woman, so why would I speak on issues I do not understand? <laughs> I'm a man. You can feel an empathy for women. I feel em Right. And I agree with him on this point because as a man, uh, you're not going to do it all the time, but the consistency should be there. I, this is just the way I am. This is the way that I was brought up. Whether you as a woman act a fool, that just tells me I know which people to hang out with and who not to hang out with. I know which woman to avoid and which woman to take out. That's all that's telling me because I'm never going to change. And the woman that gets in line with what I do and my personality and who I am, that's the one I need to be interested in. That's the one I need to be focused in. All you other bird brain women out here that don't know what you're talking about, don't know what you're doing, wanting to go on three, four hundred dollar dates, and I've never even met you in my life, you can get out my face. Hey, John. What? How have you managed to be married to me for so long and not cheat? You think there's just b out here that's like, hey, free p you think that's what happens? Uh, it's a serious question. Do you think that's how it is in these streets? I'd have to put work in. I don't want to do things with you. Dang. I'm obligated to do them with you sometimes. John! Not big things. I like doing some stuff, but I'm set, like, want to go sit in this line for this restaurant? No. I'm I put in all my effort here, and so I don't got extra effort out there. When do I have time to cheat? I'll be working. I come home. You're here. I don't want to hear yours sometimes. Dang. I love you. I listen and I'll engage. I made a commitment. I think I want to hear another. <laughs> oh my God! Could you imagine? <laughs> Let's talk about that up. it. I don't understand how y'all out here being fanned out, taking pictures with Chris Brown, paying him all that money just to take a damn trip. Y'all can barely take y'all dude on a date, pay for his haircut, or buy him something to eat. Y'all not even giving y'all dude the same treatment that he giving y'all. Y'all not even spoiling y'all man like he spoiled y'all. Let's talk about it. Ain't no way in hell I'm finna be fanned out. The only dude I'm gonna ever be fanned out over is mine. I'm not gonna never treat no man how I treat my man. Y'all out here ruining y'all relationships just to go take some pictures and be fanned out. He giving y'all the same treatment. Ain't nothing special. He required to take a man on the same type of day that y'all be requesting. Y'all out here wanna do it. You know, let me say this. They're doing it because of the experience. This is my opinion. They're doing it because of the experience. And this is a once in a lifetime experience to be with the artist or take a picture with an artist the exact way, engage within, with an artist the exact way that I want to. And I don't disagree with you wanting to pay a lot of money for an experience because a lot of people do. When you go to the Super Bowl, that's what you're doing. I think what you have to understand is that this is a man. And if you have a man, if you're single, you can do whatever you want. I would encourage you to not go out there and go crazy, but if you're meeting somebody, understand, hey, I've got a man. This man don't need to be putting his hands all over me. He'll do it because I'm paying him thousands of dollars. But I need to understand I have a man at home. I need to have more respect. And my man don't need to be like, now, don't you go out there. I need to be doing that myself. But these women that be doing this for the Chris Brown stuff, they're paying for the experience. I have no problem. 
but take a respectable picture and you know what that means. To spoil y'all, buy y'all bags, pay for y'all hair, pay for y'all nails, y'all should be doing as a woman. But y'all can't even pay for his haircut, buy him something to eat, buy his favorite cologne. This man don't even know y'all. He giving all y'all the same treatment. Why not cater to that one man that's loving on you, that's only giving that energy to you? He's only making you feel special. Not every woman that come his way. It's so sad when a man that you like cannot afford you. 36K likes. I had no idea there was so many women that needed to be purchased like Louisiana in 18 or three. Come on. But since that's the case, I got a few business inquiries. Now you females who need to be purchased, can y'all be pre-ordered? Do y'all offer payment plans? Do y'all accept MasterCard, Apple Pay, Visa? They do. Prepaid cards, a check. Do y'all come pre-programmed to submit? Are y'all's cooking, cleaning, and performative fellatio services included in the package or do we have to pay for that separately as adults Damn. now i am aware that every previous sexual hey, party yo. that you have is a 10 percent discount every age that you are past 30 is a five percent discount and Dang. every 10 pounds that you are past 135 is a 10 percent discount correct are y'all programmed Dang. to come running when you're called upon no matter what are y'all's expiration dates posted on the package so we know to move on three months prior and if i use the promo code 304 how much of an additional discount do i receive oh and lastly do we pay property tax Dang. Say, why would a man who makes 75K date a mother that has six children by three men? She already don't like the question. Oh, well, I would say, you know, I have six of them. dated men of many calibers, uh, and <laughs> that has not stopped me from pulling uh, a lot of nice men. You're done, ma'am. A man is not responsible Why to pay your bills he? during the dating phase. Like, y'all be letting social media get to y'all head. Mm -hmm. Y'all over there talking about, so a man can't test me what, what I'm doing and my rent is $3,000. Why is y'all rent $3,000? Dang, what? Why, Why did you accumulate all that? Okay, that, that wasn't his fault when you decided to stay there. Okay, do you, I don't feel like yeah, that's cost in some places. a man for real. Just say you want to sponsor. Just say you want to be a pro. Dang. Just say you want to sleep with a man for some money. Dang. Just just say that. Just say I want to be a S. <laughs> say that. Because real love ain't what I'm getting from this. Straight out the <laughs> that's gate. Not, that's not what I'm giving. They coming at that's these not what it's next. Because it's usually give and take when it comes to relationships. So, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know about y'all, but I love my man, my man, my man. And I spoil him just as much as he spoil me. Dang. You want to know what men want? We hate the fact that y'all don't take accountability. Mm. You'd rather shut down, flip the script, mm. start crying, mm. turn red, mm. act like you can't breathe, and you gonna die, and you got the hiccups, mm. the invisible hiccups. You're right. <laughs> we hate that. It is so annoying yeah, because right. it's rare y'all ever wrong. And then the one time you wrong, you gonna die from it. Right. You're right. You're we right. gotta admit we wrong even when we not. You we gotta admit we wrong all the time. He's muscle. Yeah, he's I have he's a muscle he's boyfriend, you see? Yeah. How he young and handsome, nice and gentle. He has good flavor. Yeah. Girl, shut Sugar up. And mango. Yeah, that's why I love sugar him. Plum? Sugar plum. That's your name now, sugar plum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are my sugar plum. You know, because I I'm getting old now. No, you, no, no, no. No menopause you, came already. You said it's sweet sixteen. My body like a sweet sixteen, but the menop menopause waiting for me around the corner. Oh my God. Soon getting old and dry up. So no more. No, no, Almost spare tire. Only one boyfriend. Only one boyfriend. That's it. Mm -mm. What? Mama, this is muscle. Yeah, I have a muscle boyfriend. Hey, Bill, you finished with that TV stand yet? <laughs> yeah. You got the instructions. You can read. You got it. You can just get a regular gift. I can't buy you no, no. This is what I want for Father's Day. You ask me, and this is what I want. I mean, I could give you some. Give, give, me, give me some of what? Girl, that is the same from last time. <laughs> So like I said, once you finish mounting that TV, I got a pair of boots in the garage. Put them on, get in that backyard and cut that grass. When you finish with that, spark that grill up, throw some meat on that grill. When you finish with that, I got some meat to throw on your grill. Dang. Really? Dead serious. That is the extra battery just in case that you drill go on. Not at all. But let me hear it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, man. You need a weed eater for them edges. You need a weed eater for the edges. Know your word, King. Happy <laughs> Father's Day. <laughs> Fight that day!
walked us straight off the dance floor. All right, don't worry about it. Dang. Dang, where you going? <laughs> that, that boy cut up. And so did she. This is your ideal date. Like, you just bring me to, like, literally nowhere. This is the date that you had me dress up in a dress and everything? Do you cook for me? Do you clean the house? Bro, you, we literally had to hire a maid just to clean their fucks because you literally didn't want to do that. We go out to eat every single day because you don't cook. Dang. Yes, this is a date for you. <laughs> I don't trust much of what women say in as much as they're, they're so irrational. Like, for example, women today will say things like, oh, you know, before I get married, I want to be financially stable. But they never consider mental stability. Like, oh most of them crazy as hell. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Babe, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. Let's stop lying right now. Because if you were sorry, you would have shut the hell after the first man gave me that two-piece combo. But not only did you keep running your dad like a kid in school with no home training, after the first one gave me a reality check, you kept talking after the second one jumped in, after the third one jumped in, after the fourth and after the fifth. I mean, girl, you ain't stopped talking till they ran out of friends. I'm starting to think you set me up to get jumped. <laughs> what the heck that? I'm sorry, but they made me mad. Mm -hmm. And I look at you as my hero. <clears throat> so I thought you could handle them all by yourself. <laughs> hero? Yes, hero. Girl, I am five foot tall with no gate. Ain't no hero in the history of heroes. Five foot tall with no gate. <laughs> Girl, get the hell out of the car. We are here. Okay. I refuse to be with somebody that will put me in a situation like this just because they felt disrespected. Mm -hmm. So like I said before, get the hell in my car, we over. Go, Dang. go, go. Gotta protect yourself, man. And I'm taking them clothes back too. They from Gucci. Don't think I'm letting you keep them. <laughs> Move. Hey, what's up, man? And if you want your house clean, hire me a maid. Okay. Realistically, no, no, yes. No, no, okay, no, fine. No, yes. No, no, no. You want me to clean? I agree. I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Oh, I'll marry the maid. Oh, oh, no, she's tied up. She's done lots That's of stuff. That's the question. That's the she's, question. You know, she's on the time of the month. Of course. And she's like, can you please help yes, me with I'll the dishes? Yes, I'll say to her, of course, I'll do the dishes. By the way, you got the rent this week. You're taking the mick. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. Why okay. do men this go into stupid. marriages okay, hating okay. their wives? Stupid. That's rent. I could never. You mean to tell me that you and your wife split the bills 50-50? Yeah, it helps us save a lot of money. I could never do that. How do you and your husband do it? I don't have a husband. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Talking stupid. <laughs> Gotta let him know. How is he supposed to love you if he has to do all of this performative to prove that he loves you? And don't get me wrong, because I love a kind gesture just as much as the next. But like, at what point is he going to be able to just love you? There's so much talk around what our own personal love languages are. I think that we seldom take a moment to ask or understand how our partners show love. I'm just speaking of personal experience. When I start to feel like love has to be like a show and tell or some type of dance, or I have to do this in order right. for you to love me, then it's not really love anymore. Right. If you want a man to love you forever and ever and ever and ever, listen to the woman who's been divorced three times. You want him to love you forever? Don't talk to him. Be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. I didn't say don't talk with him. I just said don't talk to him. Yep. Men will tell you when they have something to say because they are task oriented. When a man talks to a woman, he has something in mind. Yes, ma'am. Okay? A beginning, a middle, an end. He just My rambling. work here is done. Something has been accomplished. Women are drunk drivers on the information highway. We don't have to have a point. We just talk. <laughs> we just talk. You no. Know, and we'll leave it right there. Because you know, it's most women out there, they're talking because they want to connect. They don't have a point. Their point overall in general is connection. That's why they're talking. That's why they're yapping is just to, so how was your day? What did you do? And you're going through so many things about, well, I did this. And it's the same conversation pretty much every day, but they're just trying to connect. They see you as their best friend uh, in a lot of instances. If they are logical and not crazy and not insane, they're just trying to get a little bit closer to you. Really? If the woman wants you, she wants to be inside your skin. <laughs>
<laughs> she wants to be everywhere you are. And I think there's got to be a balance to where you can have your personal space in a, in a healthy relationship and she can talk your ear off for a little while and you go back and do what you need to do. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Till the next video, I'm out.